Well, I, I, I just love what I'm doing, you know, I, I always feel passionate about the sport in general and I feel very lucky person that I, I can uh, live from, from one of my hobbies, you know, uh, the tennis. So uh, I know it's not forever, uh, it's not a job that you're going to do it for 50 years, but I want to enjoy it as much as I can when I, when I still have the chance. Well, I... Oh, he's made it. Can you believe it? What a reaction from Nadal. When Cressy thought he had the point one, Nadal has come up with a moment of magic. Well, we had to guess right here, <laughs> Nadal. There you go. And it's title 89. In what's been a glittering career for Rafael Nadal. First win in Australia since 2009. And he's won in 19 consecutive seasons on the ATP Tour. A study of excellence and longevity. Just incredible. Sensational tennis all round. Tommy Paul couldn't have done any more, but the magic of Nadal on show once again in Acapulco. How on earth did he keep that rally alive? As long as he did, this was just an insane get. So good. Oh, amazing. Simply astounding. No wonder the fans are on their feet. Not quite sure how he made that volley. It's a Rafa repeat. Once again, Nadal gets the better of Medvedev. Nadal was comfortably better in the first. The second was Titanic. skills there got a little lucky with the miss hit but there was nothing lucky about the final reactive movement from the Spaniard Mr. Invincible. 
It is a third straight title in 2022 as his astonishing unbeaten start to the year continues for the fourth time in his career. Nadal is the Mexican Open champion. Who saw this coming at the back end of last year with all the injury issues? shot from the doubt uh, was nonchalant as well there was not a shadow of a doubt in his mind that he was making this and that'll do it unbelievable fight back from the doubt having real opportunities for Sebastian Corda he was so close just couldn't get himself over the line. And Nadal, as we've seen so often, able to fight his way back. The normal thing uh, with this kind of match, uh, in that position from 100 matches, probably you're going to lose 90. But uh, if you give up, you're going to lose 100. <laughs> if you are there, you can win a 10%. Yeah, it's got him. He lured him in. Nadal makes it 19 wins in a row. Still undefeated this year. That required all his focus. And he's the first man into the semi finals here in Indian Wells. What a point. Oh, he's won another. Come on. This is getting crazy. Nadal takes his win streak to 20 matches this season. Took his game to another level in the closing stages, particularly the net play. It was out of this world at times. It is a fifth Indian Wells final for the Spaniard. A 53rd Masters final. Brilliant. Had to pay full attention to the final volley. 
And it levels things up in this second set breakup. Oh, another incredible exchange. Fritz threw everything at Nadal. He still found a way. To Rafael Nadal. Well, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, yeah, first of all, congrats, uh, Taylor and uh, Michael, all your team. Uh, you are doing great. Uh, I know it's a, it's a big day for, for all of you, so enjoy it. So uh, all the very best for the future and uh, many congrats for today. Very well played. Today was not possible, but I think we did uh, uh, great work during the last uh, months. Uh, I think we can't be happier about how the things uh, have um, have gone the last couple of uh, months. Uh, we, we we have been uh, living uh, a dream, I think, after a very tough period of time. So just uh, we're gonna keep going, uh, keep working hard, and uh, we're gonna keep uh, practicing even more to try to enjoy more days like today. So thank you very much. Rafael Nadal. And a huge ovation for the five-time champ. Oh, that is just off the charts good from Rafael Nadal. Wow. I mean, the best shot was the one before that, the chip down the line. Well, we've barely seen him go to the drop shot today, but the courage to play it at match point down. So good. Oh, you're kidding me. He's gone to it again. Rafael Nadal never fails to amaze. What an extraordinary match. A match in which he had to save four match points. But it is a record extending 99th ATP Masters 1000 quarter final. Time to get down to business. Bruising. He's fired up now. Wow. Pulls that out of the bag. Just a ridiculous shot. Rafael Nadal.
Cole, got it. Absolutely remarkable again from Rafael Nadal. So many players would have gone to the tweener there, but not Nadal. Recognised that he had time to run around this one. And he still made it look so easy. It's really difficult to kind of get your bearings when you're running back to the ball like that. But how cleanly did he hit the forehand? He just loves the opportunity to hit a shot like that. What a shot. Tommy Paul didn't even react. He's expecting something defensive. And... A, a Turin tornado from the Dow. What a shot! Oh, what a half volley! What a pick up! What a point! Rafael Nadal, what have you done? <laughs> Rafael Nadal ends his stay in Turin with a win. And finishes with a flourish. What a backhand to seal the deal against his good friends. And sometimes training partner, Kasper Ruud. Ruud still wins the group. It's lovely to see Rafa end his stay in Italy with a big smile on his face. Uh, 2022, even if it had been a, a tough uh, six months, uh, two Grand Slams, uh, finishing the year in a, in a high spot on the ranking. So, uh, you know, can't complain at all. No? At my age, uh, be able to achieve and be competitive, uh, you know, means a lot to me. No? So, 2023, just let's try to, to have the right preparation. Uh, work the proper way and then uh, start the season with the right energy, you know, right energy, right attitude and try to, to reach the level that I need to, to be competitive from the beginning. You know? So let's try it. I, I am excited about it.